Hello everyone. Okay, so this is a quick video on my experiences with the OnStep V4 Pro uh, EQ3D go-to kit, which I purchased from AliExpress. I think the kit was around $250. Uh, firstly, I'll tell you what comes in the kit. So the kit comes with your DEC motor, RA motor. It will come with the pulleys. Uh, it will also come with the belts. It will come with the two cables. It will come with your control box. It will not come with the power supply. I do have that plugged into a 12 volt battery. It does not come with the remote. The remote I purchased separately. That was around 60 or $70 AUD. Uh, so if you are looking at purchasing this mount, I do highly recommend you get the mount. Uh, sorry, the controller, okay? I do recommend you get that. Uh, make sure you get the one correct for your model because they do have uh, a few different ones. This is a uh, Saxon or Skywatcher EQ3. It is uh, identical to the Celestron CG4. They also make the go-to kit for, I think, an Exos or IXOS. So make sure you do purchase the correct one for your mount. So this is the Wi-Fi version. Uh, so there's an app on your um, smart device, iOS, it's called Go-To Mode. And uh, Android, I think it's the actual OnStep. I, th I think they are very similar. My experiences with it weren't that great. Uh, I could successfully connect uh, to the mount and move the mount around. Uh, every time I initiated the three-star alignment, it would tell me it was successful. But when I told it to go to a target, it was way off. Uh, I, I tried over several nights. It just didn't work with me. Uh, and also, the range, the Wi-Fi range isn't that great. Uh, five meters and it would cut out on me. I'm not sure if other people have had better experiences. That's my experience with it. But when I purchased the remote and plugged it in and uh, initiated the three-star alignment, it aligned the first time. I tried, told it to go to a target. It was dead on target. So if you're looking at purchasing this, the remote does come in handy. Okay, now the box does have... Uh, it does work as a power box as well, so you can plug in your dew heaters, etc. Uh, there's also the USB port there, so you can uh, plug that into your computer and run it off, uh, what is it, ASCOM and stuff. I haven't done that though, so if you do ask me uh, how do you connect to the computer, I would not be able to know. However, I have successfully connected it to my ASCII box, which is up there on that system. Uh, I didn't use it though. I didn't tell it to go to a target or anything like that. I just plugged it in to see if it would um, connect and it did connect. So the uh, port down here where I've got the hand controller plugged into, that also works as a guiding port. Uh, so if you uh, want to guide uh, through the uh, ST4 cable from your guide camera, that's where you plug it into. So I normally use this mount uh, for when I want to do Milky Way shots. I will connect my DSLR with a lens, I'll plug it into the power, turn it on, turn the tracking on the remote, and it tracks superbly. It's uh, very smooth, very quiet, okay, so uh, it is it is a good quality. It, it works really well as a go-to when you have this remote. I've just had bad experiences through the app, unfortunately. I will hopefully next clear night uh, chuck my telescope on it and initiate the three star alignment and I'll record myself while I'm doing the three star alignment uh, for those who are interested if they're looking at purchasing the uh, the kit and want to know if it does what I'm saying it does if it does successfully initiate the three star alignment and track your target properly I will hopefully uh, post a video soon next clear night I'll whack the scope on there and I'll do a video of me doing the three star alignment and hopefully I will do another one also with the uh, ASCII box with my Astro system connected to it with the ASCII box and we'll see how it performs okay so any questions regarding the mount uh, if you're looking at purchasing it need some help advice Please comment.